am patient, but not that patient. I thought orcs could handle their liquor. Hold, outsider! Wrong. I bring a message from the king. King Kurog requests the honor of your presence, outsider. My beloved awaits your arrival at the keep, so do not linger. His dark mood is bad enough without you disappointing him as well. Of course I know what the king wants. He wants to see you immediately. Do you have any other pointless questions you'd like me to answer for you? Ah, outsider, my apologies. The king's mood has set everyone on edge. You could literally cut the tension in the court with a knife. And I fear it will get worse before it gets better. Go, talk to the king. Perhaps you can raise his low spirits. Go! Have you no sense of urgency? My beloved's mood has already grown dark. Don't add to his anger as well, outsider. Why? Why does the sun rise and fall each day? Why do the spring rains eventually free us from winter's icy grip? The king is angry, and like any force of nature, he refuses to be denied. Well, yes! Of course something did. Go and speak to the king, outsider. I prefer you hear the news from his mouth instead of from mine. Watch your step, Durang. You know I'm not catching you if you fall, right? That line is quality merchandise. Come here, Kruger! Get me a good sniff of this place, eh?
I catch some fish, perhaps I can trade for food. But wait, if I catch fish, I have food. Everything is coming up, Shumish. The orcs smell, the Nords are rude, and the Bretons... Gods, don't get me started on the Bretons. Have you ever looked at these statues? I mean, really looked at them. Legends carved into bronze or stone. The work of hundreds of hours, likely crafted by people who didn't know a thing about their subject matter. And for what purpose, do you think? And who decides who we honor and remember? The victors, of course, for they get to write the history. But there are two sides to every story. No one remembers the losers. They fought for what they believed in and failed, and so they are forgotten. To the vanquished, this isn't a statue of a hero. It's a tribute to a tyrant. Many see me in the same way, a tyrant, forcing my ideas upon the people. They say I'm wrong, that I'll destroy the Orsimer. They seek to turn everyone against me. I get reports, things my advisors think I need to know. One report claims that the Wood Elf is keeping company with Bosrog. When two of my scouts confronted her, she killed them both. I'm concerned that Bosrog has turned Evely against us. Evely aids my enemy. The Wood Elf has chosen the wrong side. I worry that you might follow her example. But I have a moot to prepare for, and I've said what I had to say. When you see Evely, I expect you to do the right thing. Are you? Yes, I'm sure you are. I have a message for you. I thought that was you when I saw you enter the keep. You were in there so long, though, I was beginning to think you'd never come back out. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? Malachi this and Trinimac that and all that talk about traitors in the court. Right, right. A, a little wood elf gave it to me. Described you to a turn and asked me to deliver this letter. Not sure why she was hiding under that hood or... Why she spoke with a funny accent. But I haven't met that many Wood Elves, so... Uh... As a matter of fact, although it didn't make a lick of sense to me, she said the letter itself wasn't important. She said that what really matters is the beginning of every thought. 
Maybe you'll understand it, because I certainly don't. You know, uh, come to think of it, maybe the message is in some kind of code. Hey, may maybe someone in the Mages Guild could help you decipher that. I mean, if you need any help, that is. Well, maybe, if there's actually a hidden message and it's not just some weird poem. I have a friend, sort of. Name's Kalina. She just arrived in the Mages Guild, and she's the smartest person I know. She could help you, probably. We're rather busy here, as I'm sure you can plainly see. We recently opened this guild hall at the invitation of the king. Now if only we could get him to provide us with more suitable facilities. A coded message? You mean as in spies and such? That's not something I'm usually asked about. Reagents, soul gems, spells. Those are my usual areas of expertise. Not sure I can be of much help in this, but perhaps I can offer a bit of advice. Coded messages, if that's what this is, tend to contain patterns. The message, or the poem in this case, usually doesn't mean anything as a whole. The real message is in the tiny snippets. Try looking at the words differently. Maybe that will help. A bribe? Oh, very well. I accept, but you didn't hear this from me. There's an outlaw den below the city. It's the best place to find all kinds of unsavory characters. If anyone can decipher your message, you'll find them there.
listen, this one is completely innocent. Do orcs all Khajiit look the same, yes? And I was not in the city earlier today. I was especially nowhere near the marketplace. This one is not the one you are looking for. Codes and languages. This one considers those to be her specialty. You have come to the correct person, my friend. Let me see the message. I will even give you a discount since I was not arrested today. Interesting, but extremely obvious. You really needed this one's help to decipher this? There are not even any mysterious symbols or complex patterns. It's so simple a sober Nord could figure it out. Uh, no offense intended. No, no. If this one simply blurts out the answer, then you will have learned nothing. Better to teach you to hunt than hand you a sandwich, yes? The beginning of each thought. Look at the first word of every sentence. Then all will become clear. Damn moot. First the king invites outsiders, and now this? It's no wonder we don't have any rooms left to rent. Plenty to eat and drink downstairs, though, so feel free to go and bother the bartender. A wood elf and two orcs? Sounds like the beginning of a bad limerick. Sorry. We don't see that many of the little elves around here, so I really can't help you. Ah, my apologies. I couldn't reveal anything until you said the proper words. Take the stairs down into the storage area. Look for an opening in the wall. It leads to our most private set of rooms. out with the Bushrock have planned. If we, we wait for them to strike, into the too late. Base? Whatever they're That's planning, suicide. it's going to happen soon. They just about told me as much when they threw me into my own prison. Maybe we should have left you in there. For all we know, 
You deserve to be in prison. Listen to me, Elf. I didn't attack anyone. I left Orsinium and they ambushed me. I sent you to rescue the Chief Everly. I wouldn't have done that if I believed he was guilty. You lied to us, High Priestess. You knew who you were sending us to rescue the entire time. This feels like one giant trap, and we walked right into it. Ah, oh, you found us. I'm sorry that Everly is upset, but I did what had to be done. Please, let's talk. I know you have questions, and you're probably just as angry with me as Everly. But please, hear me out, I beg you. There are deadly plots unfolding, and we're all in terrible danger. I withheld certain details, yes, but I had good reasons. If cultists killed Basrag in Trinamak's name, it would have started a civil war. And if Kurog found out you were trying to rescue Basrag, you would never have been allowed to leave the city. Basrag's shield wife approached me after the Vashrak attacked Farron's stronghold. She knew the king would do nothing for those who didn't accept his rule. Chief Basrag was ambushed at the same time the temple was being attacked. Someone wanted to blame Basrag for the Malakath fanatics, while also removing the chief from the battlefield. It was a brilliant plan. Fortunately, you were able to foil it. And now, thanks to Basrag, we know what the Vashrak are planning next. The Vashrak want to make a statement, something big. Basrag thinks it involves the moot, where all the chiefs will be gathered. We need more information. Someone needs to enter the old Trinamak temple to the west and learn more about their plans. I'll send scouts ahead, but you'll need to get inside and do whatever it takes to uncover the exact nature of their plan. Lives are at stake, remember that. Now please, talk to Everly. We need her. You have to convince her to help us. You two have your orders. Scout the temple exterior. The others will join you shortly. Finally! Something to do that doesn't involve a message. I hate this situation. I really do. Being a hero, that's supposed to be pure and honest. Good is good and evil is evil, you know what I mean? But nothing here is clear cut. I can't tell the good guys from the bad. I'm not even sure whose side I'm on anymore. When Basrog and I sneaked into the city, two guards got lucky and happened to be in the right place at the right time. They attacked. I... I... I just reacted and let my arrows fly. But I killed two guards who were just doing their job. They probably have loved ones, pets. I... I don't know if I can do this anymore. I knew you were going to say that. Still, I'm not sure I can get past Solgra's lies. She tricked us into helping Chief Basrog, and I'm still not sure about his role in all this. All right, you can count on me, but I'm doing this for you, not them. I can do that. Besides, it'll be nice to get out of a city. Try to forget about the price on my head for a while. All right. Let's do this. But be careful out there, will you? I can't afford to lose the only person I really trust.
thank Malik. I mean, thank Trinimac, your pack. Got another crisis for you. Interested? Orsinia may have started as a home for the orcs, but it's becoming a city of immigrants. More arrive by the hour, mostly by caravan. Unfortunately, the trip can be treacherous. Reeker attacks have increased tenfold since the king opened the borders. At first, robbery. But now they're abducting travelers and taking them off into the wilderness. That imperial caravaneer over there, Sonolia Muspidius, has leads on where. I'll mark the locations on your map. She's also identified their leader, King Chief Edu. Make sure to check in with Sonolia once you've dealt with those beasts. She'll want to know that her clients have been freed. I'm afraid those Reeker are at it again. You ready to teach them another lesson in manners? Someone sent out hundreds of letters inviting people from all over Tamriel to come to Orsinium, but didn't make certain there were escorts along the way. I'm doing my best, but people are still going missing. Ha! Huh. No. My soldiers and I are independent contractors. We guard many of the smaller caravans. Used to be mostly fresh produce and tools. Now we're shipping immigrants by the cartful. It's steady work. Lucrative, too, when it goes right. No. No, it's not. I've conscripted more guards than I ever thought I'd need, but the numbers are overwhelming. These immigrants are lining up by the hundreds. For the record, the vast majority of our clients arrive in Orsinium without incident. I'm afraid so. Look, no worthwhile endeavor comes without cost. There will always be dangers on the road. But these Reeker have got to be dealt with. I do it myself, but I need to look out for the rest of the caravans. Their chieftain, King Chief Idu, is the craftiest Reeker I've ever encountered. We're used to these brutes stealing goods and livestock, but kidnapping? It's remarkable, and completely unacceptable. Rescue the travelers and make those Reeker pay! You cut the forest and the forest cuts back. But if we bet those witches had something to do with all these nature cold. problems. Thank the Eight.
Divine, save me. I've never known fear like this. Divine, save me. I've never known fear like this. for known fear like this. Thank you, friend. Be 
fear grips my heart. Fear grips my heart. You saved my life. I've never known fear like this. I've seen a few bedraggled travelers stagger into the city. Muddy and bruised, but no worse for the wear. I suppose I have you to thank for that? Hmm. I'm grateful for your service, friend. I wish I could say with certainty that this won't happen again. But Reeker are stubborn brutes. I'm afraid we may call on you again before long. Farewell.
has to be somewhere in those hills. It's I've got good well. news, disappointing news, it and downright like awful us. news. The good, Barzrog's instructions were easy to follow. The disappointing, I have no idea how to find the entrance, and there's no way to get inside without being attacked once we do. I lost a bet with Talvia, and now I owe him a traditional Valenwood dinner. You know, the kind wood elves like to eat. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he realizes what kind of meat he's eating. It'll be priceless. Yeah, I guess I just needed to get out of the city. I was seriously depressed when I wound up on the King's Most Wanted list. Thanks for pushing me. Infiltrating a cult is certainly better than hiding in a hole someplace. Well, with all the runners we spotted, we know we're in the right place. We just need to find a way to get inside without being noticed. You know, we might be able to do something with those higher ranking cultists in the fancy masks. Well... A few of the masked cultists passed this way a little while ago. Then we heard a large commotion over there to the west. I can't be sure, mind you, but I think those Voshrock might have... Well, they could have walked into an... Um... Talvia thinks... Well... He thinks that the group might have walked into an Achartair mating ritual. The sounds from the west, the screams... Ifri's bow, the noise was horrible! Then it got real quiet. I don't think it went well for the cultists. Just don't get too close to those Achartes. I hear they become extremely violent when anything interrupts their... frolicking. We'll look around on our own and meet you inside. Good luck! 